What's up, guys? What's going on? I'm your host, Mike P of the FPC Virtual Channel, and we're on face rig. And sorry, my webcam wasn't being detected for my character controls, so it's all good. Let me um, try to get this uh, new avatar in. Let's see. Sorry that I'm looking down, by the way, but it's because I'm trying to look at the screen. Now, let's see if we can bring in this character. Hopefully, I can get this thing to work. Uh, what I'm trying to do, I'm creating a video for Face Rig as well as Wakaru. I'm trying to use them to work in conjunction with each other and pull off some screen magic, which is pretty cool. Um, this is the character that I chose right here. Let's go and throw in a new environment. I'll show y'all folks in another video how to do all this stuff that I'm doing. So uh, let's see. Hopefully my computer doesn't crash, which it does a lot. But uh, I just now found out that my screen recorder tool works really, really well for it. So if it crashes, my one of my screen recording tools will actually salvage it. I don't know why this wasn't working. Okay, so we're going to reduce the lighting here. Take the backdrop down a little bit. Um, there we go. And this is the character that I wanted to use. So it's actually. Oh, did, did it freeze? Now it looks like the character froze. Face Rick froze. Interesting. So Face Rick froze, but my computer didn't freeze. Hmm. That is that's much better than what it usually does. So. Uh, let's see why Facebook froze. All right, I don't know why Facebook froze, but it's all good. I'm gonna take this and fix what's going on because the head is not calibrated right. Let's go to calibrate the head pose. And there we go. So now the head is working. The eyes are working. It's moving with my eyes. It's really really dope. I can show y'all folks that as well, real quick. So it's designed to track your eyes to track every little part of your motion of your mouth and everything like that they go with me right there on the left so i just wanted y'all folks to see that if you're having a bad hair day or whatever or you, maybe you just want to play a 3d avatar or something like that you can do that now what is wakaru wakaru basically is very similar to face rig and face rig just froze again this is better than the computer freezing seriously much better. So what I'm trying to do, I'm trying to zoom him in a little bit so I can use him to control Wakaru. So I'll show you what how Wakaru works. Hopefully it actually will will work. So let's see if face rig is working still. Okay. Let's see if the character's moving. Can't really tell if the character's still moving. But either way I'm I'm recording it. So let's go over to Wakaru. Uh, for some reason the way I have OBS set up, OBS won't work uh, in terms of once I crash or once the, the computer crashes, it doesn't store my videos. But I'm using another tool known as Screencast-O-Matic, which actually, it won't crash. So that's really cool. He goes legal terms for Wakaru. So I can read all these. I already know the, the legal terms for it. So let's move on. And we're going to go into loading up Wakaru, getting Wakaru running. So I can try to get both of them in conjunction together. So you'll see, you'll see what, what you can pull off. It's really, really amazing stuff that is doable. And um, hopefully it will run and the computer doesn't freeze. So here we go. Now I got customized characters that I created myself for Wakaru. Here goes mine. And you'll see um, when they start to turn out. I'm going to confirm that. I'm going to start this. And you should see in the lower right corner um, some magic going on. It's going to happen. There it is. So now I have Face Rig down here because Face Rig has what is known as a virtual camera. So the Face Rig virtual camera actually will show as a webcam through Wakaru. So you don't have to use your own head in Wakaru to control the character. So my goal of using the actual Face Rig character is to do much more of a screen magic uh, in terms of controlling the actual movement of the mouth and the eyes and all that kind of stuff. Because this character could be a little bit more steadier than using my, my own uh, head. 
So let's go. We're going to hit start sync with avatar and hopefully it starts working and we don't get a freeze. If we do get a freeze, it's okay. So now I'm moving my mouth and the character is moving. We're going to move the head a little bit to the right, to the left. As you can see, it's working and that's pretty dope. I didn't get a crash yet. So I'm going to take my time doing things and see if I can get it to work a little bit more. Now the avatar is not lined up that well. Actually, it is lined up well. Look at that. That's pretty dope. The mouth is not moving in conjunction with the face rate character mouth. And probably because it can't detect the sizing of the mouth opening. So I'm going to go back to face rig and try to fix that mouth problem. So um, what we're going to do is we're going to increase the size of his face. And... Hold on, go back to face rig. And now the mouth should open a little bit more. See that? So what I have to do is figure out how to synchronize my mouth motions for my Wakaru character and to be able to control the mouth um, so it, it works hand in hand. And um, I think it would it would be really dope. So let's zoom out and see how it looks like this. Now the difference is with face rig, um, on face rig, I can't really control the arms, but on Wakaru, I can say hi, hi, see that, and I can do all kinds of different things with the arms, which is pretty dope. Um, you can't control the legs, so as of now, you can't control the legs on Wakaru. So let me try to, uh, I don't want to make this full screen because then my computer might crash. So I just want y'all folks to see what um, is doable and what you can do playing with these different tools. It, it is just amazing. See, now I'm trying to open a mouth. The problem is that the shape keys that I created for this character is not the best shape keys. I was just trying to figure out and learn. Um, like I said, I'm, I'm not. Um, that expert, I'm not an expert at this stuff, I'm just somewhat brand new to it, and my head pose needs to be reset again, so I'm going to redo my head pose, uh, I'll store this video, and then I'll be right back, um, so y'all folks can see more and check out more of what's possible, I like the fact that the head is moving, and it's following my head, per se, see that? Now the eyes will blink too, if I try to blink the eyes, the eyebrows should move too. You should see movement in the eyebrows. Let me move it closer, zoom it in. Well, I'm going to have to change some of the facial settings in order for the eyebrows to work, I think. I got this uh, eyebrows set up here and the mouth is working a lot better look at that pretty cool at least it's moving so now the, the the eyes are not blinking probably because his eyes are so small if I had a different character then maybe we can change the character on face rig let's see we'll do that so when I close the eyes here it should close over there. Um, let's see. Do y'all see it closing? I don't know. Because I'm closing my, my eyes, actually. Do you see it's blinking to some degree? I don't know. I'll play this back, and I'll be right back. I'm just going to check the video to see if the eyes, at least the eyes are blinking, and that would be really, really cool. So, in the future, what I'm going to do, I'm going to show y'all folks all the tutorials for face rig to lead up to this and also for Wakaru on and building your own character your own unique character so you can get these to work and to be able to do everything that I, I'm able to do um, face rig is the easiest tool to learn out of the two Wakaru you have to customize your own characters so you can also use um, MMD model characters from DeviantArt find DeviantArt for, uh, forums and try to get MMD characters and then follow the um, documentation for importing the character to Wakaru. 
but it's not going to work um, the same exact way um, that, say, like Face Rig is. Face Rig has a different way to import your customized characters. And like I said, I never successfully done it on Face Rig, but I did it on Wakaro. So I'm going to show y'all folks how to do that. You're going to need Blender. You're going to need um, many different things. If you're moving someone else's character, you don't need Blender. And you'll just need their their character uh, file from the DeviantArt forum um, that you found it in. And make sure you find out the permissions that they grant you because, you know, some characters have certain permissions and you'll be locked into that stuff. You can turn your character to. Um, I don't know why the actual face is having that kind of tearing issue. Um, I'll figure out that part, why it looks like it's tearing. See all of that mesh, kind of weird mesh looking stuff? She's basically an android, so I'll get that worked out a little bit better. Other than that, that's all I got. I'm going to end this video here, actually, and uh, hopefully y'all folks liked it, and you, un you really felt that this was cool, because I think it's really, really unique and nice that you can control characters like this using face rig through another 3D avatar control type of tool, like Wakaru. Oh, and by the way, Wakaru is, is in its beta version right now, so it would behoove you to go out there and play around with it, test it, make some videos on it, and project it to the people out there on YouTube. You never know how far it's going to go. I'll see you next time. Peace. Oh, and feel free to um, hit the thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, um, and hit the bell icon if y'all folks want to see more of this series on FaceRig slash Wakaru. But definitely Wakaru, I'm going to be doing the customized videos in the future. I'll catch you next time. Peace.